Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Brooklyn Jeweler, 79, beaten unconscious during $100,000 robbery. An elderly Brooklyn jeweler brutally beaten by two brazen bandits during a $100,000 robbery was fighting for his life Wednesday as the search for the fugitive suspects continued. These thugs, they went in there with the intention to kill him, the victim's son told the Daily News. They thought they killed him. They didn't have any issue with beating an old man to death. Manny Cohen, 79, the father of three and grandfather of nine, remained hospitalized and unconscious from the December 30 attack inside Roxy Jewelry on Flatbush Avenue. He was working alone inside the shop when the thieves struck around 5.30 p.m. Police said the two men escaped with more than $100,000 in merchandise when they left the scene, with no arrests made in the case. They, they got off with 100 bands worth of jewelry. <sighs> Making it hot. The super gremlins are on demon time. Call the police and get them off the streets. And hopefully... The city and the state can be wise enough to keep them in jail. Yeah, that, and that's the issue. It's probably not likely. Be a 79-year-old man clinging to life after being attacked in his own business. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. Police say the two men walked into the Brooklyn jewelry store and nearly beat the owner to death during a robbery. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is in Prospect Lefferts Gardens tonight. She spoke with his son, who was begging the public for help. Manny Cohen has owned Roxy Jewelry Store on Flappish Avenue for 25 years. A staple of the community, he loves the people there, the people love him. Now the 79-year-old father and grandfather is in the ICU, drifting in and out of consciousness. After police say Friday okay. evening, two men robbed more than $100,000 worth of jewelry. His son Sean says they beat him within an inch of his life. They thought he was dead and they tried to hide his body on the sub floor. Of the store. He knew something was wrong after his dad didn't call him after work like usual and didn't show up to his Friday night dinner. That's when he checked the store's surveillance camera from home and saw this video of the suspects taking jewelry from his father's store. Surveillance video inside the store captures his screams. You watch something happening on the video and you're far away and there's nothing you could do. I could hear the scream of your father. Uh, screaming for his life. He immediately called police who arrived within minutes. Cohen says officers found his father in a hole in the floor and emergency responders rushed him to the hospital. The past few days were spent in agony. We put in our faith in Almighty and the doctors and the nurses at the hospital. Police released these photos of the suspects and the Cohen family hopes someone somewhere knows who they are. We have a basic right to live in safety. They're walking among the public, and they will do this again to another person's father, another person's husband or grandfather. A heartfelt plea in the hopes this doesn't happen to another loved one. In Flatbush Lefford's garden...